what's going on you guys? So I know this video is probably a little bit early, but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the list of competitors for the 2015 Arnold Classic. And I'm also going to give you guys my early predictions and opinions um, on the dudes competing. So let's get started here. First we got, I'm going to read these in no particular order. This is just what it says on the website I'm looking at here. Um, so we got Mohamed Benut, Lionel Bayeki, Evan Santapani, Justin Compton, Brandon Curry, Marius Doan, Vitali Fatih, uh, Tony Freeman, Dexter Jackson, Michael Kefalianos, uh, Cedric McMillan, Ben Pakulski, Branch Warren, and uh, Rolly Winkler. So we got a couple of unknown guys in there, and I, I think they're going to you know, stay that way. They're going to be kind of unknown and not really break into that top six. Um, so first, let's get started with Justin Compton. Now, here's a guy that a lot of people think is going to win this show. Um, I believe he just made his pro debut in 2014. I believe he's competed in two pro shows. Uh, I think he's got a first-place finish and a third-place finish. Um, there's a lot of hype behind this guy because apparently a lot of the, the experts and the gurus in the IFBB are saying that he's like the next Phil Heath. They're just going crazy about how much size he's been able to put on since his debut and just the amount of improvement that he's been able to make in such a short period of time. Um, I myself, I'm a fan of Justin Compton. He's from the same area of Kentucky that I'm from. He's a northern Kentucky native. Now, I don't know if he turned pro or just competed in this show, um, but I used to go and watch the NPC Northern Kentucky uh, competition, and apparently uh, he either competed there and won or uh, he turned pro there. I'm not really sure. Um, but, yeah, he competed there, so that's real cool. So it's kind of a close-to-home type thing. So, yeah, I'm a fan. Um, but I think it's a little bit of a stretch, uh, all the people that are saying he's going to win the Arnold Classic. Um, yeah, he's a, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, he looks good. Yeah, he's got some great size. He's got a great physique. But these guys, there's, there's always so much hype generated behind these guys that come in. And they're big, freaky, new, um, and everybody gets behind them. Everybody loves an underdog. Everybody loves a new guy. And in bodybuilding, uh, in particular, everybody loves a, a freak, a mass monster. Like when Big Rami came out and won the New York Pro, everybody instantly thought he was going to win the Olympia because he's this big, freaky, new guy, um, something, that, something that they've never seen before, um, and they thought he was going to win the Olympia. Obviously, that didn't happen. And I think this is going to be the same uh, situation here with Justin Compton. Everybody's hyping him. They think he's going to beat out guys like Dexter Jackson, beat out guys like Ben Pakulski, Roly Winkler, and I just don't see that happening. Now, again, I am a fan of this guy. I think he's a, I think he's a great bodybuilder and great dude. He's got a great physique. Do I think he's going to sneak into the top three? Not really. Top six? There's a possibility. Do I think he's going to win it? Definitely not. Uh, so I'm just going to give you guys what I think is going to be the top six. Um, this isn't necessarily what I want to be the top six, but this is what I think it's going to be, you know, based on the past. I'm going to go with Dexter Jackson winning it because Dexter just always places high in pro shows. He's very consistent. His conditioning is always very consistent, um, and he's, he's just very rarely off. He just always brings it. He's very consistent. I have him winning this show. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say Ben Pakulski in second. Uh, just because that's what he got a couple years back, and I can only see him um, improving his conditioning, and I want to, yeah. So I, I kind of want to see him get second. So I am going to put him in second, and I do think that's what's going to happen. Um, so Dexter Jackson first, Ben Pakulski second. Um, if Roly Winkler brings his conditioning and he's on point, I have Roly Winkler coming in third. Um, just because Roly has a track record of being kind of inconsistent. Um, sometimes he's really on, sometimes he's really off, sometimes he's in between. Um, so let's say he comes in at 90%. I could see him taking third. Um, let's see here. We got Tony Freeman, Justin Compton, Evan Santapani. I'm going to go ahead and put Branch Warren in fourth um, just because of his track record at the Olympia, his track record at past shows compared to the placings of these other guys. I'm going to go have... Branch Warren in fourth, um, just because to me it seems like he's kind of on a decline with his physique. Um, and I don't see him really moving up and, and beating some of these top guys. I'm going to have Cedric, Cedric McMillan in fifth. I believe he finished sixth in this show a couple years back. But I'm going to go ahead and have him in fifth um, because he's also kind of inconsistent with his conditioning. Um, he's kind of inconsistent with the package that he brings. I'm going to say compared to... Uh, 
like Roy Winkler, if Roy Winkler came off versus Cedric McMillan coming off, I think Ro- I think an off Roy Winkler um, would beat an off Cedric McMillan. So I'm going to still have Roy above him, and I'm still going to have Branch above him. So I'm going to have Cedric in fifth. Um, I'm going to go with Justin Compton breaking into the top six. I'm going to go ahead and go with all the hype. I'm going to have him in the top six. And probably the battle um, for that sixth place, seventh place uh, spot is probably going to be between Justin Compton, Brandon Curry, and Evan Senthapani. I think either of those three guys could break into the top six, um, but I don't think any of those three guys are like a given. Um, also, Lionel Bayeki, I would probably have him in that seventh to eighth range. Um, Lionel Bayeki, because... He's also with that that inconsistency, and then the, the other guys are going to be in the in the back of the pack. Like they're all they're all really unknowns, and they're 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 probably going to stay that way. That's what I personally think. Um, if we've never heard of them, then they're probably not going to come into a big show like the Arnold and do crazy damage. Um, so those are my predictions, guys. We're going to have uh, Dexter in first, Ben in second, Rolly in third. Shit, who did I say in fourth now? Branch in fourth, Cedric in fifth, and uh, then the sixth place spot is going to be kind of fought out between Justin Compton, Brandon Curry, Evan Santapani, then kind of in that seventh, eighth, maybe ninth range, kind of trying to break it, stay in that top ten, we'll probably have Lionel Baiecki, then everybody else is probably on the outside looking in of that top ten. So those are my Arnold Classic predictions, guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. Give me your opinion. Let me know. I'd love to hear your uh, what you have to say. Um, thanks for watching the video, guys.